Hi. So. You were, or will be, the anomaly I've heard so much about. What? Don't bother denying it. I can practically smell your determination. I'm just going to read the uh, present tense ones, if it's going to do that. <laughs> It disgusts me. Whoa! He knows what you did slash will do. Mystery man, what are you? Ah, well, okay. Hey! Oh god! I'm gonna spare you. I don't know what he's saying! Ooh. Oh, hey, no, stop it. Eh. And yet, you persisted. Do you not understand, child? You are a threat. To the entire world. How? Ooh. Ah, of course. I see purity in you. It is rather unfortunate that your weakest form is also your most innocent. Whoa, hey now. Calm down with those things. Regardless, you cannot be allowed to live. Your existence introduces a non-zero probability that the universe and everything in it will end. Clearly you haven't seen my work! I don't know what the hell I'm doing half the time! Do you have any idea what I have sacrificed? No- Oh god! My work. My life. The mere notion of my existence. All to stop the likes of you. Well, I'm sorry, but I haven't done anything. I foresee your arrival. My experiments reveal the inevitability of a human gaining the power to control time itself. Oh, he's talking about the timelines. The power to single-handedly control the fate of every soul, human or monster. Oh! Ooh. So I hide in the only place safe from your corruption. The void. And just like that, my life's work is gone, as though all hours I spend on it never transpired. Oh, Jesus! Scare the crap out of me, buddy! But that isn't the worst part. Yep. The worst part is watching the world get along just fine without me. Except, that is for the timelines in which you decide to show your true nature. <laughs> no. <laughs> that scared me. It will be horrifying than my predictions. It is even more horrifying than my predictions. I'm sorry, it's hard to read like this. I watch you kill all of them. Friends, colleagues, loved ones. Everyone. Ow. No! Safety corner! What? I'm gonna try this one. It looks like a hot dog, but something's off. You take a bite anyway? Oh my, it tastes unfinished! At least you got some HP back. Well, I am done standing oddly by. It's time to end this before it begins. Oh! I know. Eh. I don't understand wingdings, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know if he's yelling at me or not. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you stop that. I agree with whatever the hell you just said. No! Stop! Oh god! No! Shh. 
Sure, why not? <laughs> no, safety corner. Oh, yeah. Why not? I'm gonna have to translate what he's saying. Oh dear. It seems as though I will not be able to maintain this form for much longer. But if I am to return to the void, at least I can do is take you with me. Oh, well, that happened. Oh, dear lord, what are you doing? Oh, this boat's one of my favorite. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. No. Welcome to your special hell. Oh, great! You ate dog test one. You recovered 15 HP. You have five placeholder items left. What? No, no, no. Ow. Remember, reality dissolves around you. You can see all possible events happening at once. Ow. Amidst the chaos, you start to remember something. Sure. What the- Tori! Oh god, no, that hurts. Remember. A bad memory surfaced. Consult. The king needs your help. He needs you to find a way to open the barrier without a seventh human soul. You're skeptical, of course, but you promise to look into it. Oh god. Uh, research. You decide to search the records for some sort of clue. You notice a word that's often mentioned in historical accounts of the war. Determination. You decide to ask a king if you can borrow something from his... collection. Ow! Uh, design. All the groundwork is in place. It's time to begin constructing your greatest creations since the core. What? Yeah. Experiment. With the six human souls at your disposal, you begin to conduct experiments. What if determination is more than just a state of mind? Can his power be harnessed? The memory fades from view, but you know it's still there. Somewhat alarmingly, you're okay with that. I don't know what you're saying! Stop yelling at me! Oh jeez, not again. Remember. You remember. I know. Oh, Lord's Priors. Ow. Oh god, why is it hurting me and healing me? <laughs> you bitch! Bad memory surface. Uh, extract. You are right, determination is a tangible substance. Now to see what it can do. Oh god, no. <laughs> Back off, you bitch. Uh, Minister. It's more powerful than you could have imagined. One of your lab assistants has managed to make the fallen rise once more. It's almost as if... They never fell down in the first place. Eh. No! 
Why does it have to hurt so much? Uh, reassign. You decide to let your lab assistant take over the revival experiments. She's quite capable, and there's something else that requires your attention. Something very, very interesting. Terrible at that. Test. It's time to start a new round of experiments. But this time, you'll be your own lab rat. The memory fades from view, but you know it's still there. Somewhat alarmingly, you're alright with that. Yeah, I remember. Who is it this time? Ooh, I'm dying. Wait. Okay. That memory surfaced. Uh, predict. You had your suspicions, but now you're almost certain. Something horrible is on its way. What is it? Uh, decide. The world is no longer safe. You can't stay knowing what the future holds. But there isn't enough left to save everyone. So you'll save yourself. I got two horns left. Miss. Your other lab assistant tries to stop you, says there has to be another way. He's persistent, but he can't change your mind. So eventually, he gives up. As he leaves, he says he won't forget you. How quaint. Ah! God dang it! Fall. It hits you like a wave of magma. You feel as though you're being torn to countless pieces. But you're safe. You're in tremendous pain. But you're safe. The memory fades from view, but you still- uh, You know it's still there. Come on, Larry, you're okay with that. Wait, what? what? What did you do? I feel so... I don't know. Ooh. Oh, it's the memories. I... I'm... You... You saved me. Intriguing. It seems the only remedy for my... condition... was the very thing I swore to destroy. Human. I suppose I owe you an apology. It's all my memories. Despite what I used to tell myself, my actions were not heroic, but cowardly. In my paranoia, I misjudged you, and for that, I'm sorry. Will you forgive me?